Hello kids, welcome to Alpha Geeks. Today we are diving into our next module focused on microbes. In this session, we will unravel the mysteries of what microbes are, their diverse types, and the ways in which they contribute to the well-being of us humans. No time to waste. Let's eagerly embark on a microbial expedition. Ready? Let's commence our journey then. Now let's see what are microbes. Microbes are single cell organisms that are invisible to the naked eye. They can only be seen with the help of a microscope. Microbes live and grow everywhere as they only need warmth, moisture, food and air for growth. They make up the largest number of living organisms on the planet. They can grow in soil, water and inside or outside our body. Microbes that do not cause infection are called non-pathogens and microbes that cause infection are called pathogens. Now what is infection? It is a disease state resulting from the invasion and growth of microbes in the body. Now what are the types of microbes that exist? There are mainly four types of microbes that is the bacteria, virus, fungi and protist or protozoa. Now let's explore the features of each microorganism and the illnesses they can trigger in humans. Bacteria are single cell organisms. Bacteria come in different shapes. They can be comma shaped, rod shaped and others might look like spirals or round. Harmful bacteria cause diseases like typhoid, tuberculosis, pneumonia, etc. What is a virus? Virus is a microscopic infectious agent which is smaller than bacteria. They are found in almost all life forms. They can replicate inside the living cells of organisms only. The study of viruses is called virology. Viruses infect host cells to reproduce. Viruses can learn to adapt to immune responses. Viruses come in various shapes such as spheres, cylinders or even more complex structures. Their shapes help them attach to specific cells in their host. Viruses cause diseases like chickenpox, common cold, polio, dengue, measles, AIDS, etc. Protozoa are single cell organisms. They come in many different shapes and sizes, ranging from an amoeba, which can change its shape, to paramecium with its fixed shape and complex structure. Some are more oval and others have hair like structures to help them move around. They live in a wide variety of moist habitats, including fresh water, marine environments, and the soil. Protozoa may live inside bodies of plants and animals. Protozoa causes diseases like dysentery, malaria, sleeping sickness, etc. Fungi are organisms that absorb food and they cannot move about. Since their cells do not have chloroplast, they cannot make their own food. Instead, they grow on dead and decaying organic matter. Fungi includes molds, mushrooms and sac fungi. Some fungi can causes diseases such as ringworm, athletes, fruit, etc. Some microbes are essential for our everyday lives. They play a crucial role in food production like making bread rice or turning milk into curd. There are microbes that help break down waste and make soil fertile for plants. They are also called as biofertilizers. They also protect us from harmful invaders and even are used to make medicines. 
good microbes help us digest food if you have liked this video then hit the like button and subscribe and don't miss to press the bell icon to get new notifications thank you